Welcome, one and all, to the finale of Let's Play Infamous All Missions. Last time, we destroyed the Ray Sphere, and John supposedly died. I say supposedly because a little different in Infamous 2, spoiler alert. But anyway, it is time to fight the final boss, Kessler. Here we are, back where it all started. I was so worried that you weren't going to live through the blast. But you were fine. More than fine, actually. I remember your voice now. You were there after the bomb went off. I've always been there, Cole. Every step of your life. And Kessler's health bar. He's the only boss with an actual health bar. And that was not a good start. Okay, I'm probably going to fail a couple times at first because I need to remember his attack pattern. That attack, like, all of his attacks are extremely devastating on hard. Like, a lot of his attacks can actually, like, about one hit kill you on hard. But you at least have a few electrical things to drain from. And, like I said, I gotta remember his attack pattern, so I'm probably gonna die a few times. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna probably die a couple times while I remember his attack pattern. What you wanna do, though, is... When he sits still like that, try to hit him then. That is your best chance. And try to hit him with megawatt hammers. And not miss as badly as I just did. Whenever he does the shockwave, you want to avoid it. Because like I said, his attacks are pretty devastating. And he has some of the same sort of attacks that we do, almost. His health bar is at the bottom. I believe you get checkpoints during this fight, though, which is actually really, really nice. Maybe Zeke does. Huh? Huh? Maybe Zeke does. Well, then again, Zeke pretty much screwed us over, so... When he does that, that is when you want to hit him. Okay, we've taken out about a third of his health. Tap quickly. There's no possible way to hit him this time, though, so there's almost no point in really trying because you can't even hit him that time. He still has full health, so... or two-thirds of his health. This is... that's guaranteed. <laughs> I actually like you for about three seconds, Kessler. I actually like you for a few seconds because you, like, almost killed Zeke. I like you for a moment. Yeah, that's right. Now, on easy difficulty, though, I felt like Kessler was always the easiest boss on easy difficulty. Maybe that's just me, but that's what I always felt like. Like I said, though, he's not easy on the higher difficulties. Mainly because his attacks are so damaging. Okay. Come on. So yeah, what you want to do, the main way to hit him is to avoid that attack every time he does it until he sits down like that. And then shoot him a couple times, and I am out of electricity. I really need to drain, but it's going to be difficult to do with him attacking me. Got it. More hits. Drain as much electricity as you can for like two seconds. Very nice. Yes. Don't worry, I know I have karmic overload. I'm going to save it for the final cycle. Now, he's got a few extra drones to attack us. Not too big a deal, though, but let's start out. I believe you get a checkpoint every time that happens, like, after each third of his health go away. Ow. most of his remaining health. But 
I need an energy now, but that was pretty epic. Uh, great time for a karmic overload. Took out the majority of his remaining health. Aw, oh, come on, Kessler. Give me a chance to hit you, though. Aw, oh, more of your stupid little drony drones. Well, I took out some of his health, though, while I did it, so I'm not going to complain. His drones don't really do too much because there's only three of them and no other enemies. They're more of a nuisance, honestly. Alright, we've almost got him. His health's almost empty. Yes! We've got him, guys. He throws us right back to the center. Tap quickly. Yeah. Boom. Electric melee. Lightning storm. Yeah, I don't think he's going to live through that, Cole. I don't think he will. I looked down at Kessler, reveling in my victory. And then I heard him whisper, Trish, I love you. Please forgive me. Then he was on me, fingers digging into my face. As Kessler's secrets played out in my head, I finally began to understand. I saw his nemesis, a beast intent on extinguishing all life. In those early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it, but instead he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power. He went on a one-way trip back in time. Attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the Ray Sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day. When he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched. Unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person. That he'd come back in time to mold me to the savior he failed to be. Going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No, Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away, the rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler, but when the time comes, I will be ready. And that is it, guys. It's over. That is it for the... Well, obviously, it's not the end of the finale part one because we still got the credits to go through. But, yeah, guys, that is it. So... I have a feeling that music is going to get me copyrighted, so, yeah. I might cut out a second or two of that just because I don't want to risk the copywriting, so I hope you guys can appreciate, can understand that. So, Infamous. Well, that was a very fun Let's Play, actually. I really enjoyed that because, uh, I mean, I'm sure that there are a few other Let's Plays of all the territories on YouTube, but, you know, that was actually pretty fun because I don't think it's too common, and I enjoyed recording it for the most part, and... Really, some of the parts that I'm used to failing at like crazy, I actually did kind of well at. Because, I mean, I'm used to, you know, failing, ah, uh, what was it, like the bus mission a lot, but I think I only died on it once. And the, the balloon mission I did fairly well at. And, yeah, so, really, oh yeah, there's your uh, voice actors, if you care. So, yeah, anyway, I did enjoy the Let's Play for the most part, though, because... It was fun. I mean, like I said, it was a pretty fun game to play. I enjoyed playing through it. I mean, Infamous is a really fun game. 
I think most people will agree that Infamous 1 is better than Infamous 2. That's what most people say. But I have, for one, never actually played that much of Infamous 2. I've played the demos and stuff. And I have it on Gamefly, and I plan to play it and Platinum it, because it's supposedly also an easier Platinum than Infamous 1. But, yeah, so, Infamous 1, it is a fun game, though, and Infamous 2 does continue the storyline to not long after this game with, like I said, the reemergence of John, this beast, uh, a huge karmatic decision at the end, all sorts of stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, anyway, that's just from what I've read on, like, Wikipedia and stuff. But yeah, guys, Infamous. Like I said, I enjoyed Let's Playing It. I enjoyed playing the game. And the Let's Play didn't end up taking quite as long as I expected. I mean, I know I was making longer videos more often now than I used to, like closer to 25 minutes than just 20. So that probably did help me a lot with making this game go a little bit faster. But still, this game didn't take quite as long as I expected because this is only the 27th part, I believe. Or, no, it's 28th part, I guess, and we still got another part of the finale and the extras video, but... Yeah, it, it feels like it went pretty fast, and, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. I was expecting it to be closer to, like, 35 or 40 parts. And, yeah, that, there's not really much more else to say about this, though, because, like I said, it's a great game, it's a lot of fun, and the Let's Play is basically over. Uh, now I think I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a heads up on what my next Let's Play is going to be. And as a few hints for it, the game came out a little under a year ago, I believe. I believe it came out in March of 2013. And Cameron, I really hope that if you're watching this, you don't tell anybody. Because that would not be good, even though, really, I don't know how many people care if someone spoils it. However, before I upload the next Let's Play, I do want to upload another game of Mario Party 8. Because I have two games fully on my laptop that I can go ahead and upload. So I'm probably going to upload an entire game of that next, and then a channel update. Or no, I'll probably upload like the first half of the game or so, and then do a channel update. And then we'll head off into the next Let's Play. Which, like I said, it's that, it's that, and it's not a very good game either. I think it averaged like a 20 to a 40%. Oh! Oh! Once Kessler and the race sphere were gone, my life would go back to normal. But now I understand that this is my life. That there's no going back. That the gift of these powers will be my burden until the day I die. The people around here, they love me. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. Zeke. I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone. Okay, that's the true uh, ending of the game. It's over. And now... Uh, congratulations, you have beaten Infamous. Feel free to free roam Empire City, collect blast shards, complete any side missions, try for more trophies. There are more trophies to be at harder difficulty and side quests and powers for the opposite karma. Your actions have made you more evil, and that's only because I used the karmic overload at the last second. So, there are still two territories left, and this one, I believe, is the one that can't clear until you beat the game. I knew I was missing one over here, though, so for the second part of the finale, we will complete the last two side missions of the game, and then I'll do the extras video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play, and I'll see you guys in just a moment for the second half of the finale.